2022 Genesis GV70 Interior Review, World Class Luxury. One of the nicest we've seen in the small luxury SUV segment. We just had our first chance to climb in and poke around the all-new 2022 Genesis GV70 Compact Luxury SUV, and goodness, it has quite the interior. It appears moving down a segment in size and price from the South Korean luxury brand's first-ever SUV, the midsize GV80, didn't have much if any effect on the quality and presentation of the GV70's cabin. We'll put extra emphasis on presentation here, as, unlike some contenders in this segment, the GV70's interior is an aesthetic triumph. Depending on how you spec it, the cabin is awash in Napa leather, wood, metal, carbon fiber, and or microsuede, with the leather and microsuede available in a range of interesting shades, some of which you might be surprised to find paired, like green and blue. The GV70 Sport we sat in wore a deviated blood red over black interior, complete with metal and carbon fiber trim. It's a wonderfully sculptural space that Genesis says is inspired by aeronautical design. This is most apparent with the GV70's heavy application of an oval motif on the center console control panel, the glove box latch panel, the door handle assembly, the door armrest trim, and the side trim plates on the center tunnel. There are quite a few textures to drink in. The Napa leather on our GV70 was stitched into a variant of the traditional quilted diamond pattern, complemented by the appearance of Genesis's G-Matrix latticework design on the pedals and speaker plates. The carbon fiber trim itself has an unconventional pattern, and according to Genesis reps, is visibly backlit when the interior is darkened. Speaking of lighting, one of the most striking aspects is the GV70's trim lighting. Gentle light effuses from the bottom surround of the center console armrest, matched by similar lighting around the HVAC control plate on the center of the dashboard. Of course, portions of the door are also subtly backlit for visibility. If you like the layout of the central tunnel controls on the GV80, you'll love the GV70's slightly revised layout. The GV70 shares the same rotary transmission selector and infotainment control knob as its big brother, complete with the attractive crystal insert on the former and knurled crystal ring around the latter. Volume and tuning are controlled via rollers that sit flush with a trim plate that's integrated ahead of the infotainment knob, they're easily used individually or while operating the larger knob. Sitting north of those controls is the drive and terrain mode selector, framed by the controls for integrated cameras and parking sensors. To the right, a retractable panel hides a cubby with USB slots and a wireless charging pad. The HVAC system is operated via a small touchscreen mounted in the middle of the dash. Two physical knobs change the temperature, but the majority of the functions are handled via the panel, including fan direction and seat heating, ventilation. A row of physical buttons sits just beneath the climate controls for standard functions like hazard lights. Moving to the rear seats, occupants will have plenty of room, even when sitting behind a six-footer. Aside from the usual features like cup holders and door pockets, there isn't much to futz around with aside from an optional cluster of AC controls and heated seat controls, along with a pair of USB ports and a standard three-prong 110-volt outlet. The cargo area looks spacious, we don't have the official capacity quite yet, and can be expanded by folding the second row with poles located on the walls of the cargo hold. Overall, it's a genuinely upscale environment. We're big fans of what this latest generation of Genesis products has to offer in terms of comfort, design, and features, and it looks like the 2022 Genesis GV70 will only continue that push. Based on this static experience, we're looking forward to our first drive of the new SUV sometime later this year.